guys, it's Pep from Pep here and today we are back to see what we can do with the new support that Konami gives us with the event of the uh, of, uh, about Aster Phoenix. As you can see, he's here on the right side uh, of the screen. Um, I made a new deck, so uh, let's see if these kites, these supports can really improve um, Destiny Heroes right now. Um, I have to say, I only take into account the spell card D mine. We had two, um, actually, uh, two rewards that were new uh, D mine, and the other card was D time, if I'm not wrong. But the other card was is really um, about uh, you know uh, a combo with elemental heroes. But I, I prefer to um, uh, to make a, a destiny hero, a pure destiny hero decklist. So here you go. Let's start from the beginning, as you um, as you know from the skill. The skill I choose is uh, bring it. What it does? Um, if you lose a thousand. Uh, you can add, you can return one card from your hand back into the deck and add one level 8 Dark Warrior type monster from your deck to your hand. And the only level 8 Dark Warrior monster we have is Plasma. We have two just in case one gets destroyed or banished, so we have another chance. But um, let's go deep into the deck. Um, as you can see, the, um, let's start from the card that is not a Destiny Hero. So um, I've chosen from the semi limited card uh, Keteroid. So, in case we just need to, um, to resist, uh, to endure uh, until we uh, have all the cards we need to Keteroid. Um, so, a double defense effect. Also, uh, when uh, the first one is in your hand, you can discard it and make a, um, uh, a battle damage comes become zero, and then the same effect can be activated when it's in the graveyard. Then another defense is Spear Kuribo that can be used also to deal with monster that has higher attack than your plasma once that you activated its effect, and also of course um, to uh, manage your life points and then uh, be able to activate the skill bring it, of course, and also it's an unpredictable defense as always as Kidroid. Um, and uh, then we have to the Destiny Heroes. So the main focus of the deck is Destiny Hero Plasma. We want to summon Destiny Hero Plasma. All we need to know is that this big boy uh, does not count as a normal summon, so it's a special summon. You can do your normal summon in that turn, so to meet the requirement of having three monsters on the field. And then when you have three monsters on the field, you can tribute them to special summon your plasma. What this big boy does, it's amazing, as you and, and as maybe you all know, um, uh, it negates all the effects of your opponent's monsters on the field. Keep in mind that on the field, not in the graveyard or in the end, but oh, but only on the field. And once per turn, you can keep one monster as your opponent controls. It can be also um, set. It's uh, it not uh, need to be. It is not needed to be face up. But of course, um, and what it does, it gains half the attack of the monsters that you equipped to him. But of course, if you choose a set monsters, he is gonna uh, gain uh, nothing. So its attack is gonna be um, uh, 1900. That's not so much, uh, we have to say. Um, and what's the good about that? Uh, of course, you can get rid of monsters or that you cannot go over, and also you can um, increase the attack of plasma. Um, and keep in mind that. Uh, the plasma effect can be uh, activated also to target monsters that cannot be targeted. Why? Because he first negates them effects, their effects, and then uh, they become targetable, and so you can use the, uh, the second effect of plasma, of equipping. Okay? So I'm talking about the, my nightmares. Of course, Cogitus and the big boss of Lunlight Monsters that cannot be targeted, but with Plasma they become targetable and you can keep them to him. So, really powerful Plasma, as you all know. And um, what are the ways we have to special summon Plasma? What are the ways we have to meet the requirement of three monsters on the field? We have 
two ways. The first one is uh, represented by the cubed. What's the cubed? The cubed is a card where that when it's normal summon, it can, it can count as a destiny hero, but we really don't care about this effect. What we care about is the second effect. You can discard up to two cards from your hand and special summon from deck, hand or graveyard um, the cubed monsters uh, up to the number of cards discarded. So basically, you, you discard two cards and you summon other two the cubed so that you have three monsters on the field. And then, then if you have your plasma in your hand, you can just go straight up and special summon your plasma. Pretty easy. What's good about the cubed is that if you use it as a defense, you can just use it to um, send them when it's destroyed by battle. You can send one Destiny Hero monster from your deck to the graveyard, maybe to send our little guy Destiny Hero Dreamer. And also, you can discard a decubed from your hand with the effect of decubed to special summon them, then he, him back from the graveyard. So keep in mind, if you have even if you have three decubed in hand. You can just normal summon one, activate the effect, discard the other two, and then special summon them from the graveyard. That's no problem. This is a really good effect. The second way we have to, to meet the requirements of having three monsters on the field is having a drill dock, another destiny hero um, in your hand that can be a dreamer, a blade master, but also it can be another drill dock, and then having a demine. Why? Because with demine. What you're gonna do is pretty, it's pretty easy. First, you're gonna activate the mind, and then you're gonna summon. I heavily suggest to special summon a Destiny Hero Dreamer, and in a second I will tell you why. Um, once that you summon a D mind, you're gonna special, you're gonna su normal summon a Destiny Hero Drill Duck, activate its effect, then special summon another Destiny Hero monsters that can be under the uh, Drill Duck, of course. And then you have three monsters on the field. So with three monsters on the field, you can tribute them special summon a destiny hero plasma and then the game it's done pretty easy why have chosen destiny hero dreamer and destiny hero blade master the first theory, the first reason is pretty easy because they are level 3 or lower and so they can, can can be targeted by our d mind but the second mm, reason is uh, more important for destiny hero dreamer why because when it's in the graveyard you can uh, special summon him back to the field when a destiny hero uh, battles. What you can do is, is that you can special summon dreamer, make that battle damage if you have one uh, come, become zero, and make that destiny hero not be destroyed for that battle. And this guys is really important because if you have one or more destiny hero dreamer, of course keep in mind this is a once per turn effect, if you have a Destiny Hero Dreamer in your graveyard and you have a Plasma on the field, but you know, but maybe your opponent has no monsters on the field or or it has a monster, um, he has a monster that's not that uh, that has not a so great attack, and you wanna not suck its attack, you can wait, you can wait until your opponent summon a, a monster with a higher attack, and then uh, you can endure that battle. With your destiny hero dreamer because of course your hope and is gonna attack into your destiny hero plasma but you're gonna resist with your destiny hero dreamer and the next turn you're gonna suck it with your plasma this guys is really important so that you have um of course you have also your sphere karibo as a defense to keep your plasma on the field and uh, what you are gonna do instead if we have already activated the effect of plasma so Destiny Hero Plasma has a monster equipped with its own effect and maybe let's say we have a Destiny Hero Plasma with a 2500 attack. Let's suppose our opponent summons a monster with a higher attack and he's gonna attack. You have two ways to um, overcome this situation. First is that you can Sphere Kuribo your, def your opponent's monster and maybe this, this monster has a, a defense that's lower than your, your actually um, Destiny Hero Plasma attack or you can have your Blade Master in your hand and when he's gonna attack in the, into the damage step you're gonna activate the effect of Blade Master and increase your Destiny Hero Plasma attack by 800 and make it, and make it uh, become higher so guys with these cards you are uh, of course you have um, 
a card that you have a lot of cards that can help you in different situ in different situation of course don't mm, uh, don't bother about the extra deck i just put the musket hero anki just not to left it empty and to you know make your opponent believe you have something in your extra deck maybe that you play some tuner or maybe with destiny Hero that you play mask change um, and guys, I think this deck is really fun to play. Uh, I cannot tell you um, what it's gonna do in higher rank. Actually, this take me, this took me from platinum rank five to uh, legendary rank one. Um, so uh, definitely a good one, I have to say, uh, for that rank. Uh, it also ca um, took me a, a a good win streak. I have to say six or seven wins in a row, but. Keep in mind, of course, take into account that I was in a platinum rank, so it's not like um, legendary rank or king of games rank. But guys, the deck is, of course, competitive for platinum rank. Um, maybe I'll tell you in the future if uh, it is good in a, in a legend rank uh, or also in king of games rank. Maybe if you uh, manage to um, to pull out this deck list and to try it into the legend rank let me know in the comments section down below if you uh, find it good if if it takes to um, to use some wins in a row maybe and guys i hope all the explanation are clear feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below um, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoy this um, this type of videos and as always enjoy the replays <laughs>